Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to get to the moon. You're going to want to play around a bit with Kerbal Space Program. It's not the kind of game you can instantly get. So that's why we're building a prototype. As you can see, first we've built a command pod, parachute. This will, when we're on re-entry from the moon, we can jettison the command pod and the parachute, and we can land safely just using the parachute. We don't have to use any boosters. It's not going to be that heavy. Then we have a decoupler. This will jettison the old stage and leave us with just the command pod and the parachute. After that, there is an SAS module which controls the ship. Fuel tank, rocket, landing gear, another decoupler, some more decouplers and rocket boosters. Change the name, and that's pretty much everything. Make sure you got the staging right. You want to have generally the rocket and the solid boosters launching at the same time. And then have the boosters attached because they'll run out first. And then the first stage should attach. And once you're happy with everything, you can go. Now, I don't know if this is everyone's or just mine, but you normally have to give it a second for the physics to load, like that. Everything's good. Turn on the SES. That tries to keep the ship in a straight line, so we don't veer off until we want to. Turn the thrust up to full, and we're away. As you can see, the rocket boosters are making way too much power. We don't really need that much. Uh, so we can just turn off the rocket motor altogether. And just let the solid boosters take us there. In a second they'll run out. Jettison them. Fly up to about 20,000 feet and then turn. Point to 90 degrees. Keep going until we reach 100,000 meters on the apoapsis. We're nearly there now. And stop. Now we just float. Not really floating. It's more like f flying, really. I suppose. Oop, missed a bit there. Never mind. And now we boost to make this a nice round orbit. And we've run out of fuel. And we're not going to have enough, enough fuel to make it to the moon. Nowhere near enough. So let's try and save our tawny Kerman here. We're going to want to just really do nothing. Slow down so we don't go into the sea, so we can try out a powered landing. We could jet us in the command pod here, but where's the fun in that? Let the air do all the slowing down for us. Lower the landing gear. This is sped up, just in case you can't tell. Because... This isn't the kind of game that you can just play for about 10 minutes. You need to put some time into it, but it is really rewarding when you get to places like the moon. Just slow ourselves down here so we don't smash into the earth. Or Kerbin, as it's called. Keep going down. I want to slow down a bit more now don't want too much of this sideways movement. Ideally we want to be going just vertically. But it's okay. Turn off the engines and we have landed. Well as we can see we need a lot more power. So four more engines should do it. Uh -huh. Change the staging up. Move the rockets back around. Add some support because it was wobbling before. That spinning was caused by 
the parts twisting. Going to add some more solid boosters because they were very effective before. Some wings for stabilization. And let's go. Much bigger ship this time. Should be able to get to the moon with this. Uh, physics has loaded. I think. Yeah, now physics is loaded. Turn on a CS. Thrust to full. Get rid of that rubbish stage. And we're off. Don't need to use the rocket boosters. Because their solid boosters are still making enough power. It's not spinning as much, but the top is wobbling. We probably should add some support to that, but let's keep going because nothing catastrophic has happened yet. Start the gravity turn here. Just keep going. Not much of a window in this, but you know. Keep going. Lots of gravity assisting boosts, whatever. Some big sciencey words make it sound good. There we go. Drift up there. This isn't the most efficient rocket ever, but it gets the job done. That's what you really need. We're going to boost now, just as we hit the Epiraptus. Run out of fuel, we have to jettison those stages. Still looks like we've got plenty of fuel to get to the moon. We want to tilt up a bit, because we're going down quite fast. Ideally, we want to boost just before the apoapsis. So we can have a nice... round... orbit. The closer you are to the apoapsis when it starts to... move and you start to get a circular orbit, the more... similar the apoapsis and the periapsis are going to be. These ones are going to be quite far off, I would imagine. Not amazingly, but I'll still get a nice orbit. As you can see, I have a lot of jettisoned, crashed space stations and just explosions and everything. Anyway, here we go. I need to get the periapsis out of the atmosphere here. Done that now. Atmosphere ends at 70, that's 75, so we won't slow down and go back to K Earth or Kerbin to go to the moon. So what we have to do is get yourself in a nice 90 degree orbit like I've just done, and as soon as you see the moon rise, point towards where you're heading, which is the prograde, and full power. And wait! This will pick up speed, eventually. I have a lot of junk around my orbit. I need to create some kind of anti-junk orbit. I do have something to ground, but I don't think it would work very well in the air. We've run out of fuel there, we're going to have to use the lander stage. Ideally, you do not want to do this, but we don't need that much fuel to get there now. Any minute now it should snap on. There we go. And we want to lower this down. 100k maybe. Less than that. We've got plenty of control over this, so. Uh, about there. That should do. There we go. Speed up. And there's the moon. There's Earth, Kerbin, Kerbin, Earth, Kerbin, Earth, Earth, Kerbin, whatever. Here we go, as soon as we hit the periapsis here, we are going to fire in the opposite way, which is called the retrograde. S make the orbit circular, like that. I like 
to when I'm going to look for somewhere to land be about 10 kilometers up because if there are any Easter eggs that's when they'll render and you can find them and in fact I think we'll be just in time to land at my moon base which is at a one of the Easter eggs called the Lunar Arch or Moonar Arch or I don't know if it has an official name it's an arch it's on the moon Moonar Arch just fits it's located on the top of the big crater which is a very specific location but you'll see what I mean when we get there just drift around now we're going a bit low we could hit a mountain here ideally you don't want to be this low you want to be about five to bet between five and ten kilometers up until you fly near enough to where you want to land then you slow down a lot and you want to go you want to ideally get rid of all horizontal speed and we've got a lot of horizontal speed at the moment I'm just doing some course adjustments here to see if I can get it so we're going down more than laterally just, just that if you burn if you point north or south you will change the angle of the orbit in the opposite direction. So if you burn north, the way you're going will move down, simply. And I just want to go, want to slow down, and we don't want to miss our target, so we're going to point up slightly as well. Just sort of drift like this, going up and slowing down. So we'll still get to the same place, but we won't slam into it. Land. And that's the idea. Lots of course adjustments. You don't have to land here. You can land anywhere. And all you really have to do is just slow down. You just go full throttle at the retrograde until you basically going straight down as you can see here I'm making it so our predicted landing site is still pretty much near this base I've made if all those icons weren't there you could actually see the moon arch you can just Coming in now. Still 4,000 meters up, so we do have some room to play with here. Uh, here's close enough. Just get, we don't want to waste fuel either, so we'll just slowly reduce all of our horizontal speed. Not too much, because otherwise we'll go up. Land here. Slow down here. We don't want to slam into the moon. Not now we've come so far. Literally. I believe it's 11 million meters. If I remember correctly. Come 
coming in now. We should be fine. Let's get rid of all of the well as much as horizontal speed as we can. I haven't put RCS on this so we can't completely eliminate it easily. But that'll do. And touchdown. And a giant fail for Kerbal Kind. Hooray, we're on the moon. Jump. Let's go back. Let's go fly over to our moon base. You can press R if you successfully got here yourself. Turn on your little jetpack you've got. Now, I claim to be pretty good at rockets. I don't claim to be pretty good at this rocket booster jetpack thing. Some time later. Oh my god, look, it's Bob, Bill, and Jeb and I coming. Hey guys, hey guys, can I have your autograph? Mr. Jeb, Mr. Jeb. Oh. Hi guys. Yeah, such a failure. 